YouTube. What's up? How you guys doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. What's up, Facebook? What's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? Oh my god. Hey, listen, I said to myself, let me jump on this live real quick, talk to you, answer your questions. So any questions you've got, please put them down in the comments. I'll go over them and answer your questions. If you want to talk about SATA questions, all right, we're going to talk about SATA, SATA questions. But if you want to talk about anything else, I mean, be my guest. Let me put this phone. Actually, this is YouTube. This is Facebook. Oh, hey, Facebook, meet YouTube right there. But um, yeah, any questions you've got, I'll put those side by side and I'll look at the comment section. But again, listen, so we've got some people here. If you're watching this replay, you got questions, put them down in the comments. But let's talk SATA, right? SATA questions, a lot of people, you know, look at SATA questions. and I mean, it is the most freaked out, you know, NCLEX questions out there. People hate them. I totally understand. You know, people hate SATA questions because, you know, you've got five options. You're going to choose. If you miss one, boom, that answer is wrong, right? But listen, that's fine, right? Uh, so there are two, two uh, miscommon um, myth that, or, or two, mis two common misunderstand, two, two, oh my God, I can't even talk today, but two things that people like the most to ask questions on SATA about SATA, right? People say, Hey, if I answer two out of three, correct, will get, will I get a partial, um, like Mark? No, no, you won't. Right. As, as ugly as it sounds, but that's the truth. If you get, if you miss one option or you add one option to the SATA question, then it's in no it's a no-go, so you will get that question wrong, all right? Number two, which I totally forgot what number two is, uh, misconception about SATA questions, right? It will come to me, but listen, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, uh, you know, SATA question, how to handle SATA question. It's so freaking easy, man. So SATA question, with any, with any question out there, this is how you deal with it. First, you're going to read the question the first time. General reading. Listen, do not freak out. So just read the question, general reading, understand what, what, the, what the examiner is asking you, right? Number two, you read the question again and you pick up the keywords, all right? What are the keywords in that particular question? We're just talking about the subject of the question. Don't read the rationale. Don't read the, the options yet. So go through the question one more time and try to find the keywords in that question. All right. When you find the keywords, you highlight them. You need to highlight at least two to three keywords or at most, I mean, at most two to three keywords. When you highlight the keywords, then I want you to just look the other way and rephrase the question in your own words. All right. So rephrase the question, that means that you understood what the examiner wants. And then you go through the option. With SATA question, this is how you deal with it. So simple, man. Are you ready? <laughs> it's true or false. True or freaking false. So you treat it as true or false. You read the option and you say, hey, is this true? Is this a true statement? If it's a true statement, you pick it. If it's a false statement, you cross it. You don't come back to it. All right. So don't go like read option one and option two and option three and then move to one and say, is this true or false? And then move to two. No, no, no. Make up your mind from the first time. Look at the option very carefully and then decide, is this a true statement or a false statement? All right. If it's true, pick it. If it's wrong, cross it and don't come back to it, right? Go to option two, read it. Now, if you read it and you can't make your mind, if this is true or false, that's totally fine. That's when I want you to come back to it, all right? So you come back to that option if you cannot decide if this is true or false. And that's it. You treat it as true or false. All right, now the question comes. Hey, Mo, what if, I mean, what's the secret behind SATA questions? First, you treat them as true or false. You read the question three times. You pick up keywords on your second go. You rephrase it on your third go. 
But listen, man, there's no magic behind SATA questions. There's no magic. SATA questions, if you memorize signs and symptoms, complications, and side effects, dude, that's it. That's all they ask with SATA questions. They ask about three stuff. So it is side effects, complications, or signs and symptoms, all right? So if you freaking master your signs and symptoms, side effects, and complications, oh my God, you're a SATA king, all right? You are a SATA king. That's how you answer SATA questions. So if you are on my webinar, all you have to do is master every single sign and symptom that I give you, every single SATA question, every single sign and symptom, every single complication, and every single sign and symptoms, complication, and side effects, all right? That's all you need to do, all right? Let me go through some questions. We don't have questions, but how was nursing school for you? Man, nursing school was freaking awesome, all right? It was, it was freaking awesome. I mean, my classmates were amazing. You know, I had a lot of fun, um, and nursing school is not expensive back home. So back home, the whole thing cost me like, like four year bachelor nursing degree cost me like a thousand bucks, right? But I was a freaking A student. I was, I was like, like I was a freaking A student, right? You don't need to be a, an A student to pass your NCLEX, but I'm just saying. All right, what's the difference between signs of right and left heart side failure? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Listen, questions like that, you can you can Google them, you can open Sanders, you can, you can do whatever you want, dude, for God's sake. But again, listen, when you're memorizing signs and symptoms, let's say right side heart failure, left side, left side heart failure. Signs and symptoms are, this is how I think about it, right? So if you have right side heart failure, as people or like, you know, um, what do you call them? COPD patients, right? Right side heart failure, the the blood pump, like the blood, the blood stagnates. So go backwards, right? So go backwards in the heart. And what, what happens is you get, um, you get like peripheral edema, um, you know, all this kind of stuff. So you get, you, you get uh, peripheral vascular disease, peripheral edema. You've got, you've got uh, shortness of breath, pulmonary edema. So pulmonary edema, you know what I mean, right? All right, let me see. Oh, I got a question. Who, uh, set of questions. What if you choose three out of four? Yeah, definitely. No, that's wrong. Uh, your port. No, that's a Ferrari. That's a Ferrari right here. Yeah, that's my Ferrari. Uh, let me see. You've got questions here. By the way, thanks for making me an RN. Mamadou. Oh my God, Mamadou. I freaking love your face, man. You're amazing. Your testimonial video helped a lot of people. Um, everyone I suggest his webinar program gave me hope and now I'm an RN. Mamadou, man, your story is freaking amazing. Mamadou passed on his uh, sixth attempt, I believe. And there's one thing that Mamadou said when he, when he um, sent his testimonial video. He said, like, when he was watching me on Facebook, YouTube or whatever, he was like, oh, that dude is so happy. I can't believe it. Like, no. But when he attended my webinar, dude, that's the way I am. All right. So, um what's that hey mo all right so i think that's all we don't have questions uh ask slice what should i do to memorize this stuff hey repetition man adeline repetition you know me when i want to memorize stuff what i do is i write things down i write i take my own notes i write stuff down and then i repeat it over and over again that's how i do not i do not i don't forget about it all right let me see um uh yes six yeah man i'm glad you jumped on my webinar remember dude freaking love you man we should hook up maybe dm me i want to see where you at i'm i'm doing i'm i'm traveling all over the country we're going to nursing schools all over the country so uh this weekend i'll be in st louis and um hopefully uh, th this was out of the blue, right? This was out of the blue. I'm going to like a business conference, meet with a few. Uh, maybe we're going to like do like, uh, you know, I I'm opening a second company and I have a couple of people in St. Louis. We might do like business together. We might partner on, on something. 
which I'm not going to announce now because there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing yet. Right. But, um, yeah. And, th and then this dude hit me up. Um, he's a nursing student. He, he, he he's going to graduate soon. And he said, Hey, Mo, um, send me a video. I want to, I want to show it to my, um, classmates and whatever. I said, dude, I will be in St. Louis this weekend. So I'll come in person. And he said, oh my God, are you kidding me? I said, of course. So if you want me to come to your nursing school and present, talk about NCLEX webinar, and you know, he asked a question, which literally made me, made me laugh. He said, Mo, do you charge? Do you charge, do you charge fees for this? I said, hell no, man. Hell no. If you follow me for a while, dude, I do a lot of shit for free, right? So definitely I'm not charging Marcus. Hey, Mohammed, this Marcus from Brazil. Hey, man, how you doing? Brazil, I've got a lot. I don't want to say a lot, but the Brazilian community on my social media are freaking awesome. And, uh, you know, I've got at least, I would say, six or seven nursing students from Brazil who passed with my um, NCLEX webinar crash course, with my four-week crash course. Marcus, my man. Right, let me see. Hey, Mo, hey, back. Uh, congrats on your second company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the second company, it's it's on paper. Yeah, it's on paper. It, we did not start that yet. Actually, it is my third company. So I have I have two companies, but um, this partnership, it's going to be freaking amazing. But um, if it works, right? Uh, please, inside of questions, is it okay to pick at least two, two correct answers? No, no. No, no, you need to pick up all answers. If, I mean, you need to pick up, you cannot miss any answer and you cannot pick additional answer, right? That's it. So you need to pick up the right answers. And then the second misconception is, you know, when people say, hey, the standards have changed. So with SATA questions, you can have one correct option and you can have five correct options, like all the options. So please keep that in mind. Oh my God, Shadow. So, so this dude asked, can Seagate external hard disk to smartphone? Dude, come on. So this is a nursing channel. I did one video about external hard disk, the Seagate, which is freaking amazing, but it is for desktop, right? It is for desktop. It's not for, it's not for iPhones, right? So let me see if we have any more questions. I failed again after your webinar. Listen, hit me up. If you were not on a study plan, we'll put you on a study plan. And literally, if you followed what I say, let me turn this on. If you followed what I say, you, you should have like passed with flying colors, flying colors. All right, so DM me and we'll talk. Let me see here. Greetings from California, K. K P. All right, let me see. How does the webinar work? Hey, DM me or send me an email info at alphaslice.org or just DM me and I will or put your email in the comments. I'll send you a demo of the of the webinar and how it works. All right, mosquitoes and butterflies type of life. Hello from Staten Island, New York City. I start nursing school in January. I'm worried about set of questions. Hey, everyone's worried about set of questions, but let me tell you this. If you memorize signs and symptoms, complications, side effects, you will master. And I'm saying you will master set of questions. All right. All right. So since there's no more questions, hey, listen, I'll be doing more of those. Ask me anything uh, and I'll pick up a topic. Um, you do not answer your question. Oh, Adeline, I'm sorry. I didn't answer your question. Where's your questions? F slice, what should I do to memorize these stuff? I already answered your question, girl. Um, to memorize stuff, what I do is I write things down. I take my own notes and uh, I repeat them every single day, right? I'll, I'll do a ritual. What I do with my on my webinar with my students on, on the last day, which I call it day 20, I give them every single slide on the webinar. And when I say slide, it's not the questions, it's slides that has to do with nursing content, right? I give them every single slide and on those slides, there's like 300 slides, I mean, give or take, 
but 300 slides that they have to go through every single day, literally every single day, they have to go through those slides. Um, and I suggest that do it first thing in the morning and it should take you less than two hours, right? Hey, S S Sebley, hey, 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 how you doing? How you doing? Uh, are you familiar with Gen 23 questions? I'm not, no, I'm not familiar with that. Um, all right, guys, I think that's, oh, let me see, uh, your Anklix, why Anklix is impossible. I'm not sure what, what that means. Uh, I'm a new immigrant and I would like to be a nurse. Hey, would like to be a nurse? You go to nursing school. Um, they are like Anklix side questions that will give for 2023. I'm not sure, Gen 23, I'll look into it. Uh, another question, what books do you suggest study? for the Anklex, UWorld, or Sanders, none, all right? I will suggest that you take my Anklex webinar, which you will freaking love, all right? Because you've got coaches, you've got people you can talk to, you've got so many uh, modules of learning. Um, you've got video, you've got audio, you've got live, if you choose a live, you've got, so you've got audio, video, live, you've got daily notes, you've got um, weekend evaluation tests, and then we'll give you a recommendation. And then by the end of the four weeks, what we do is we give you a study plan of what are the things you need to do on a daily basis until you sit for your test, which is freaking awesome. And then what we do is, uh, so it, it's 24 seven access, it does not expire, and we follow up with you until the day you sit for your test. And that's why I encourage my students, we have six coaches on the team, what we say is ask as many freaking questions as you can. Don't don't leave any stone unturned, right? But again, you have to do your part, which is study and follow the algorithm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't know how much is yours and how can I get it? Please just send me an email. I'll send you information. Uh, different programs, different investments. Uh, info at alphaslice.org. Let me see, Marcus, I'm I'm so happy for you, Victoria, or, or for, for your victories, Ferrari, you you inspire us, thank you. Thank you, man, the, the Ferrari is freaking awesome, man. The Ferrari is freaking awesome. This is Italia 458, and oh my God, Dan, that engine is a killer, all right? Let me see, uh, my clinical instructor writes for Anklex test. She recently went for training uh, for the new style questions, look into it. Listen, I've got a professor on the team, uh, and the professor is is um, is is nation like well known. is It's a well, it's a rec nation recognized uh, Anklex writer. Is a nation? How do you call it? Like nationwide recognized Anklex instructor, and he's on my team. And he used to write for the Board of Nursing back in 2010, 2011, and he writes for us right now. Uh, let me see, this is getting dark. Uh, let me put this here. Yeah, you guys can't see me well, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, what's, the, what's the goal secret to pass the NCLEX? There's no one secret, man. Whoever tells you that there's one secret for the NCLEX, that's stupid. There's a lot of things that you need to understand. The NCLEX is not to be underestimated, but listen, you've got to put it in the work. Uh, what do you do for someone who failed three times and have taken um, remediation course? Listen, I mean, Mamadou was just on the YouTube live stream. He failed five times before he found me on the internet. And when he took the leap and took my crash course, I mean, he's a hard worker. So you're a hard worker. He failed five times before and then he passed. I've got a lot of people who failed five times. I've got my boy, uh, James, failed five times and passed on the sixth attempt. I've got tons of people who failed two or three times and passed, you know, after they took the four-week crash course. I've got Edith. She failed eight times before. Eight freaking times. And then when she took my course, she passed. So three times, I don't want you to feel defeated right? Don't feel, don't feel defeated. What I tell people, listen, I understand all the emotions that come with failing. Literally, it's, it's so depressing and devastating, but that's not the end of the world. I want you to keep your chin up and it doesn't matter how many times you failed. What matters is how fast can you get back up on your feet and pursue your goals with the right, uh, with the right mindset and right resources. All right. So don't, don't feel discouraged, Elizabeth, for failing three times. It doesn't matter. What matters is 
you get back up and pursue your goals, all right? Uh, let me see. I'm thinking to be part of your program maybe next year. Um, do I need to make an appointment with you ahead of time? You don't need to make an appointment with me, man. You know where I'm at. You just go to the website, sign up. You know, my course is a lifetime access, so you don't have to worry about it expiring. So you just join and you will freaking love it. Let me see any more questions on YouTube. Uh, yeah, Mamadou is still here. Um, yeah, five times more help. Man, you're freaking amazing. Uh, yeah, definitely you need to, to stay motivated. And we are here, you know, to keep you on track. Anytime you feel demotivated, you just hit me up. Hit any of the coaches. You know, Joe's freaking amazing. You know, we've got Sally, we've got the professor. Everyone on the team is freaking amazing. You just need to reach out. All right, guys, love your faces. Um, no more questions. I think I answered everything. It's getting dark and my live webinar will start in a minute. So gotta go. All right, see you later. All right, bye Facebook. All right, and then here, let me see by YouTube.